It's Monday morning. Welcome back to Football Spire for some more transfer gossip. And I want you to decide, is Rafa Benitez getting his excuses in early or does he really not have any money to spend? This is the sun. In this piece, the Liverpool boss is saying that the club's owners have failed to deliver on a promise that he would have the money to spend to go one better than last season. He's already spent nearly £40 million on Alberta Aquilani, Glenn Johnson and the youngsters Aaron King and Chris Mavinga. But by my reckoning, he still has a fair bit of cash to spend. So I'd have to say that he's getting his excuses in early. It's been £6 million for the whole defender, Michael Turner, but understandably Hull want double that. And Turner really has to have a real think about whether or not he wants to go to Liverpool to sit on the bench when Dan Agger and Jamie Carragher are fit again. The same applies to the promising young Stoke defender, Ryan Shawcross. The Mail said that Rafa also likes him. Anyway, as I said, I think Rafa's getting his excuses in, but that's just me. You let me know what you think on YouTube or on our email. Now, while you're getting in touch, give me your views on this. It's a story that we had in the Daily Mirror on Saturday, which has been picked up by The Guardian today. Man City are moving in for West Ham defender Matthew Upson uh, because they're worried that they might get priced out of a move for the Everton defender Jolien Lescott. City are ready to offer around £22 million after having bids of £15 million and £19 million turned down. But Everton want £30 million, which will put Lescott on a par with Rio Ferdinand at Manchester United. Is Lescott worth that much? and should City pay it? Now, I know City have got the money, but I don't believe that they should be held to ransom like that. And I actually do think that perhaps they should go for Upson, who would cost far less, but let me know what you think. Now, other bits of news around today and reports in Spain say that Barcelona are gonna change tack and go back in for Arsenal's Cesc Fabregas as they accept that they can't get Javier Mascherano out of Liverpool. The Times have picked up on it and I can't help thinking that Arsenal fans are getting a bit bored with this one as unless Barca make a ludicrous offer of the Ibrahimovic or Ronaldo proportions, Fabregas is just not leaving the Emirates Stadium. The Mail say that Aston Villa have agreed a £7 million deal with Middlesbrough for striker Tunkai Sanli to see off interest from Spurs and Stuttgart. The Mail also say that Gary Megson's persuaded defender Gary Cahill to sign a new contract to scare off the likes of Arsenal, Everton and Spurs. That's been confirmed this morning. It's a new three-year deal. At the money that Bolton wanted for him anyway, I don't think any of those clubs would have been interested. And now it's time for your messages. And Brendan Heron on our email says that Hull are desperate because they've got no money. He also says that their new loan signing, Josie Altidore, the striker from Villarreal, should actually be called Dozy Altidore. He says here, um, at Villarreal, his first touch always left a lot to be desired and his creativity with the ball at his feet just wasn't there. But he does have some good points. He's young and he's very physical and he can really threaten a defence. As long as he gets some regular first team football, this could be a good move for the American national side. To Daniel G, who sent us a private message. We can't open it, so you've got to send it again. Uh, Paul Murphy's asked us to investigate rumours during the rounds on Friday that Nicky Butt, no less, at Newcastle is wanted by Liverpool. Uh, Paul Murphy's insisting here that, like other fans at Arsenal, Butt is not wanted. Uh, we had a look at that story, but there appears to be no evidence to support it. JKJ Tastic wants my season predictions. I really should save them for the paper at the weekend, but I don't mind telling you this is my top four. I think Arsenal will win the league. Hopefully they'll make a couple of key signings to back me up. The word is that Shamak should sign uh, this week, maybe next. I can see Chelsea finishing second. I worry about that Man U midfield and the injuries that are now stacking up there. Now Nani is out with a shoulder injury. Ben Foster in goal didn't look too clever in the community shield against Chelsea yesterday. I think this might be a transitional season at United and I think the last two Champions League places are going to be fought out between them, City and Liverpool, my team. At the bottom, I think Pompey are going to be relegated. Hull's number could be up too. They just can't seem to attract any quality to the side. And Blackburn can't seem to score goals. I think this could be a tough season for them. Just very quickly on the other competitions, I think Arsenal will win the FA Cup, got a great record. City perhaps for the Carling Cup and a Samuel Eto inspired Inter Milan for the Champions League. While you're digesting all that, or maybe throwing things at the screen, have a look at where you can now find us from now on. The facts and stats, the fans and banter. 
famous pundits and the latest news. And one of the greatest football archives in the world. Mirrorfootball.co.uk Now then, moving on, this is the Mirror. Fat Mark Viduka looked all set for a move to Portsmouth at the weekend, but there may be trouble ahead. The threat of administration still hovers over Fratton Park, which means that although viduka has got no club after being released by Newcastle, Portsmouth might not be the club to take him in. We'll keep you posted on that. Some other news in brief for you. When Wolves are in for the Celtic defender Bobo Baldi on a free transfer. Derby want the young Spurs midfielder Jake Livermore on loan. West Brom have inquired about taking Aston Villa striker Marlon Harewood on loan and Middlesbrough have managed to get Alfonso Alves, you know, that striker who doesn't score goals, off their hands. He cost £12.25 million last year. Now Monaco wants him. He's been a complete waste of money. And you know I mentioned the new MFTV channel on the Mirror Football website where you can see our new You The Manager show on that channel every Thursday starting this week. It's an online show designed to back up the competition you can find on mirror.co.uk and you can compete for our £150,000 first prize. You can also take on my team, which is here on the screen, in a mini league. Let's see if you're all as good as you make out to be. And I'd like a name for my team too. We're getting a nice prize together for the person who comes up with the best name. So let's have your suggestions. A few more messages and Snicker says, dude, sort out your sound levels. I'm fed up with having your music blaring out at me while watching your otherwise great little show. Whenever you play any music, it's always too loud. P.S. I'm not old. You sound like you are but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Manchester12345 says, Hey Darren, mate, I oh, just want to ask why you're always taking the mickey out of Mark Viduka. I don't personally like him, but I will defend him as I'm an Aussie. Well, to be fair, it's just a bit of fun, but I have to say Newcastle didn't get value for money out of him last season. He was on enormous wages, and I'd like to see him stay at Newcastle and help dig them out of the championship, considering what he took out of them financially. I asked you last week who you thought was in more disarray, Pompey or Newcastle. P. Murphy thinks Newcastle. He says uh, Portsmouth may be in trouble, but they've got something Newcastle don't have. Uh, they are still in the Premier League and they've got a whole season to keep themselves there. I'm sure the Newcastle fans would change places with them in a second. Uh, Mohamed says Portsmouth or Newcastle? You've got to be kidding me. Portsmouth should count their lucky stars that they're not in Newcastle's position. They're owned by a guy who is, who is as decisive as Imelda Marcos in a branch of Jimmy Choo. Uh, not only that, I hear they're appointing David O'Leary as manager. The Geordie Nation deserves better. That's Mohamed's words, not ours. And Pro Hip Hop Beats wants, wants us to set up a Facebook page. I'll have to have a word uh, with the technical people in the spy office. They know more about those things than me. I'll let you know how I get on. Tottenham are very keen on the young but very powerful Toulouse midfielder Moussa Sissoko. Uh, Toulouse say that they've rejected a bid of £12 million from Spurs, but we put this to Spurs last week and they denied it. Harry Redknapp does like him, though, very, very much indeed. Uh, the Mail say that Birmingham are really keen on the defender Sol Campbell, who's available on a free transfer after his Portsmouth deal ran out. We hear that Everton, no less, could be interested. And speaking of defenders... Aston Villa still wants Silva and Diston from Portsmouth, but the fire sale there is making it more difficult for Villa as Pompey won a sell, but they're worried about the fans going ballistic. There's more Football Spy for you tomorrow, but log on to mirrorfootball.co.uk for all the latest breaking news, and I will see you on Wednesday.